Does your kid ever want to play with potions? Are you looking for a way to make it a little bit more educational? Well, that is exactly what we're doing today with my Rainbow Potions Science Experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your little ones because things are about to get colorful. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Today we are making scientific rainbow potions. Basically we are making a tea that will change colors when you add different things to it. It's really fun, it's taste safe, it's touch safe, it is great for little ones. But first we need to make our tea. So we are working with this very special cool type of tea called butterfly pea flower tea and four cups of boiling water. And now we are going to add four tea bags of our butterfly pea flower tea. We're gonna cut off the strings from these because we're gonna really dunk our tea in there and we just don't want that paper inside our tea. So go ahead, oh, you can see the blue coming out. Look at this beautiful color. So I'm going to go ahead and stir my tea in here. And as I do this, watch the color change to this beautiful blue color. This is the signature color of butterfly pea flower tea. We're just going to let our tea steep in this hot water for five minutes. Parents and adults, because we are dealing with boiling water, make sure we are exercising caution here. And after you have let it steep for five minutes, go ahead and set your tea aside to cool down. Once your tea has cooled down enough to play with, we are ready to make our potions. This is the fun part. The unique aspect of butterfly pea flower tea is that it is a natural pH indicator which means it changes colors in the presence of an acid and a base. So we have a few touch safe and taste safe acids and bases that we can play with here today. I have a few different containers here. You're gonna wanna get a bunch of different ones for your kids to pour and play with. I have five here today, and we are going to put our butterfly pea flower tea in each one. So I have a funnel to make this easier, but you can just use glasses at home if that works for you. And we are just going to fill this up about halfway. Now that we have our potions prepared, we can add our acids and our bases. I'm first going to add lemon juice, which has a pH of two. So on the pH scale, which is the measurement for acids and bases, anything from zero to six is an acid. Anything from eight to 14 is a base and a pH of seven is neutral. So that's what our butterfly pea flower tea is at right now. So we are changing the acidity of our solution with an acid with a pH of two, lemon juice. Let's see what that does to the color. Look at that beautiful pink color. Do you see that? Look how gorgeous that is. That is so pretty. So that's what happens when we add an acid like lemon juice. But orange juice is also an acid, except this one has a pH of three. So it's a little bit less acidic than lemon juice. Let's see what happens when we add that. Ooh. Because orange juice is a little bit less acidic than lemon juice, this one only turned a little bit violet rather than going all the way to pink. I'm gonna leave this one alone because this is our neutral, our pH of seven. This is just our butterfly pea flower tea. And we are going to add a base to this one. So I'm gonna scoop up some baking soda. The chemical name for this is sodium bicarbonate and it has a pH of nine. So we're jumping all the way to nine on the pH scale. Let's see what happens here. Let me add a little bit of that. Ooh, look at that color. That one moved a little bit more towards green. We have pink, purple, blue, and green. I love this experiment so much, it's so pretty. So now the other fun thing that you can do is let's add lemon juice first. We'll change it a little bit to pink. We're adding lemon juice first getting that beautiful pink color. And now, this is the one my kids love the most. Now add baking soda. And what do you think will happen to the solution when I add this? One. <gasps> Look at that! It changes colors to blue because we have moved it a little bit more basic, right? We have moved it almost back to neutral with our base. And also, baking soda is a base. Lemon juice is an acid. When you mix those two together, what does it do? 
it creates an acid-based chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles. So there was two different chemical reactions here. We were changing the pH by adding baking soda, but we were also kickstarting an acid-based chemical reaction that made bubbles. So that one is one of my favorites. And then once you've done that, if you really wanna spice things up, you can add edible glitter to make it a little bit more sparkly. Because sparkles are the perfect addition to a potion. And again, these are all touch safe and taste safe, great for little hands. I was doing this with four and three year olds at our birthday party and they just, they loved it. They love the bubbles, they love the color changing aspect of it. And this is one where you make it and you can just let kids play with it by themselves. And what's really fun is you can do this again and again and again. Look, so look at our blue solution, this bluish green. I'm gonna add lemon juice once again. Let's watch the color. We're moving it more towards that purple color. Look how pretty that is. And the bubbles are still forming. They're still building. We clearly still have some baking soda in there. Thank you for making rainbow potions with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.